Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Shanae and today I'm going to show you how to make super easy basic crepe recipe. It's one of our family's favorite breakfasts and my boys absolutely love it. They request it weekly, like every other day they want crepes. And um, I usually double the recipe because one batch doesn't last very long and um, but today I'm going to show you the very easy way to make the crepes. I've been making crepes for as long as I remember. I grew up in the Russian community and and it was a staple in our menu. So the ingredients are really really easy. You don't need a lot basic ingredients and you can use different types of um, methods to make crepes. For example, you could just need a bowl and a whisk. You can make it in a blender. You can actually use in a stand mixer too. Uh, it's up to you, but I'm going to show you how to make it in a bowl with a whisk. And then most of the time I make it in my blender because you can just put everything into the blender and blend it for a few minutes until smooth and you will be done. But today I'm going to show you to how to make it in a bowl because there's a quick trick to getting it just right so that you don't get a lot of uh, flour lumps. So let's get started. For this recipe, you will need two cups of milk, a little bit vanilla extract, cup and a half of flour, sugar, salt, vegetable oil, baking powder, and two eggs. And what we'll do is first we'll break the eggs and then we'll whisk it with sugar and salt until nice and smooth. Oh, and add a little bit vanilla extract too. If you wanna make savory crepe, just omit the uh, vanilla extract and use one tablespoon of sugar. You won't really taste sugar in this recipe, in this basic recipe. The sugar is adds a little bit of flavor, but also it helps to make the crepes beautiful golden brown because sugar melts and caramelizes a little bit um, and makes beautiful golden color uh, for the crepes. But if you're making savory, you can just add one tablespoon and omit the vanilla extract. The egg mixture is perfect. I warmed up my milk because warm milk really works beautifully um, for the crepes. And I warmed it up, it's not too hot and it's just a little bit on the warm side. I will add like a quarter cup of milk. What will, the, here's a trick, to avoid lumps in the batter, you want to mix the flour into as little liquid as possible so that it's easier to whisk. And now we'll add the flour in. I'll dump it all in at the same time and then just whisk it. It will be um, pretty thick, but don't you worry because we're going to add the rest of the milk and it will be nice and smooth. When you are mixing the batter like this with very little liquid, your batter is going to be smooth and you won't get as many lumps. When you add um, all the liquid and mix it by hand, like with all the liquid, it will, it, the batter will be really thin and you won't catch all those lumps. It will be really hard. Okay, this is this thick right now. And now we'll add the rest of the milk. and gently mix it. Yep, that batter is really, really thin, and this is exactly how you want to have because um, you want the crepes really thin, lacy, and beautiful, and this is the consistency you want. Now, we're not ready to make the crepes right away. We want to cover it and let it rest at least half an hour, preferably one hour, 
or even overnight. When I know I'm gonna make crepes for breakfast, I usually make the batter the night before and it um, sits in the fridge for <laughs> overnight and uh, the batter will be ready for me to make right away in the morning. Uh, here's why uh, you need to rest it uh, for before baking because so the, we just combined the dry flour with liquids and now when you are resting, the flour will absorb all the liquid and make really easy uh, batter. And it will be easier to uh, shape and cook the batter. And, but we are not adding two more ingredients uh, for now. It's baking powder and a little bit vegetable oil. Uh, baking powder helps to create that lacy uh, texture with lots of holes. That's what, how I like mine. You don't have to add baking powder, but um, if you like lacy crepes like me, definitely add it. And oil, we add oil into the batter because I don't like to oil the pan every time I make a crepe. Actually, I don't oil my pan at all. So with this recipe, you, when you add the vegetable oil into the batter, you don't have to oil the um, pan. You just need to use a um, non-stick pan and it will be beautiful. So I'm going to rest this batter for about 30 minutes and I'll be back and we'll add this two ingredients and then we'll start making them crepes. And I'll show you how easy it is to shape and cook the crepes. If you have ever intimidated making crepes, there's no need to because it's really easy. So while the batter is resting, let's talk about the uh, tools that you will need. You just need a simple frying pan, non-stick frying pan works great. You don't need the special crepe pan at all. And uh, just a non-stick uh, pan works beautifully. I like to use smaller pan. This is the 10 inch pan and 10 inch means from this end to this end. And the bottom measures about seven and a half inches. So this, these are not big crepes and I like it that way. I've made crepes so many times. I break it down to size and it works beautifully for me. Um, this is a large cookie scoop and I measure, it's about quarter, little shy of quarter cup of batter. And I use this and it works perfectly for my 10 inch pan. It scoops up just enough batter to fill the bottom of my pan and it works beautifully. Another thing you would need is special thing. It's not special, but um, spatula. Really, really thin spatula works best for crepes because when I use regular plastic spatula, they seem too thick and you can't slide the spatula in the underneath the crepe easily. So I like this thin spatula. Ideally, you don't want to use this metal one. I had this beautiful, perfect, my favorite spatula, white spatula, which was plastic. And one day it broke. I used it for like seven years and it broke one day. It was really sad. And I started using my fish spatula and it works beautifully too. So. That's that, and now let's go ahead and make the batter, the rest of the batter. So my batter has been resting for about half an hour, and, and now we're gonna add oil and baking powder. And then whisk it again until nice and smooth. So another thing, if you're making the batter the night before, Go ahead and the, the batter might be a little bit thick, so feel free to add a little bit water or milk to thin it out because you want your batter super thin like this. And now we're going to go to the stove and start frying, super easy. The most important thing is to preheat your skillet really, really high and then we'll go from there. So. Preheat the pan over medium-high heat really, really well. It should be really hot. And then take about a quarter cup of mixture. And you do want to hear that sizzle. 
And then as soon as you drop the batter, make sure to just swirl the pan really well. Because the skillet is really hot, it won't take long to cook the crepe. And uh, as soon as you will start he he seeing the edges brown, and there's no like liquid uh, batter on top, you wanna gently go around the edges to loosen it up. The batter will be of like matte color, and then you just go underneath, the spatula, turn it, and there you have it. Usually they say the first um, crepe never turns out. They, in Russian they say, but if you preheat the skillet really well, you won't have that problem. If it doesn't turn out well, it's totally fine too. It's cooked street and you can enjoy it. So crepes are ready. It took me about 20 minutes to uh, fry all the crepes. It make, this recipe makes about 20, 25 crepes depending on the thickness of, uh, of them. And I wanna show you how to serve this. Uh, there are a couple of ways um, to fold and serve. Um, so for the most part, what I do is I usually butter the crepes and put jelly or Nutella. My kids love Nutella, but it's a treat. And most of the time I serve them with uh, peanut butter. And, or also peanut butter is really great uh, with this and peanut butter and jelly. Uh, and what I usually do is smear jam all over. And then I just roll it into a tube like this. My kids love to eat like this. Also, the crepe has two sides. One is nice, pretty side, and one is not so pretty side. See the difference? I love the, this beautiful side. And another way to fold them is, let's do with Nutella. Ooh, this is really thick. I'll just do half of it and then you fold it into a triangle like so and this is actually my favorite way when we're, when I'm serving it to a company for example and you just put them beautifully on the plate another way is I'm not gonna fill this one what you do is you fold two sides like this and then you put the filling inside it can be sour cream it can be anything savory or sweet and then you roll it this is another beautiful presentation one and then you roll it like this i have my uh, savory cheese crepe and served like this i will show i'll show a picture here and it's beautiful presentation um, the most impressive presentation I have on my website uh, for dill smoked salmon recipe is you put the beautiful side on the facing down and then you put your filling here like smoked salmon right here for example and then you fold it not all the way you just leave a little bit rich here and then you fold it again And then roll it and when you have a smoked salmon here it looks beautiful I have my dill uh, smoked salmon uh, crepes like this and then you put it up like this and put it um, arrange it on a platter it looks really impressive it's perfect for like um, baby shower bridal shower um, 
branches and everything. So that's another way. So there are lots of versions that you can serve. Also, you can just serve it like this and have your guest to fill and serve themselves. That's another option. If you really want a beautiful, nice presentation, don't fold it all the way up. Just like leave a little bit rich so that you can see the layers and then you do this or this. It adds beautiful presentation. I'm going to, to do it really quickly and show you how easy and quick this presentation is. There you go. How pretty is this? And then you can put some berries in here and it will look gorgeous to serve it. Anyway, I hope you really enjoyed um, this recipe and I hope to see you make this and share it on Instagram. Here's my handle for Instagram and go ahead and take a picture of your crepes, post it on Instagram and tag me and I would love to see your creations as well. And if you would like to check out my crepe recipes, I have a few variations. Um, go to my website, Sweet and Savory by Shanae, and search for crepe. And I have dill smoked salmon crepe, I have savory cheese crepe, I have almond and honey crepe, which is gluten-free actually, just uses the almond flour. And I have this basic crepe recipe as well. Also, I have a few crepe cake recipes have amazing chocolate crepe cake with chocolate mousse filling, have red velvet crepe cake with um, cream cheese frosting, and also I have lemon poppy seed crepe cake. It's beautiful, the crepes with poppy seeds are amazing, they look beautiful, it's gorgeous cake for also for special occasions or just enjoy on a Sunday afternoon, right? So go to my website, check out my crepe recipes, cake wrap, cake crepe recipes it's really hard to say that but i hope to see all your creations on instagram don't forget to tag me and let me know have a good day thank you for watching bye here you go i could eat this many yeah mm -hmm. i know yeah okay How's it?